Atlanta United Fan TV here with Mark. 1-0 win. Uh, last minute header by Marcelino Moreno and the 17s go home happy at a full capacity. Benz, how did it feel, man? Ooh, I think a relief in the end. Uh, you know, it, uh, it was a struggle. It was a struggle for 90 minutes. I thought uh, towards the end, maybe the last 10, 15 minutes, uh, was when we looked most dangerous. Um, you saw a couple crosses coming in from the left, in particular from Bello, from Moraney. And, uh, you know, Joseph was there. There was one he got his head on that I thought he was going to put it on target. You could tell the way he reacted. He was pretty disappointed. Um, and, you know, he's, just, he's getting back into it as well. So, um, but, yeah, it's... Uh, Oh, it, it feels so good just to get those three points and go in with a win because, I mean, to come away with a nil-nil uh, draw, I think, in this particular fixture would have been a disappointment, especially the tough fixture we have next week. So, um, yeah, massive relief in the end. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty rough for probably Montreal, but uh, really, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's the other team. You know, we're happy to, you know, with that type of match, to just get three points, right? But, uh what you assess from the play overall in terms of uh, before that last minute header? Sure. I think uh, from much of the match, the play was ponderous. You know, a lot of slow passing, passing in the back, passing around, but not uh, penetrating really. I thought, uh, you know, every time they try to get Elaine, I try to get the ball into the midfield. Uh, you know, it, it was just like multiple touches to control the ball or not turning quick enough. Or, uh, you know, I thought Montreal did a, a pretty solid job of suffocating the midfield and just not allowing LA United to play. Um, I, so I did notice Miles um, seeking, seeking that ball up the right sideline. Uh, we saw a couple opportunities, I think, almost created from that. I forget who whiffed on the shot in the first half, uh, but that was a decent buildup. But other than that, I mean, I just thought I just thought it was a bit of a struggle. And I was thinking, too, like... Uh, George Bello wasn't getting as much joy in this match. Um, you know, I guess, you know, they just weren't finding him. I thought the left side in general felt neglected for much of the match until the end. And then you saw at the end, you know, the opportunities that came from the left. You saw Moraney go on the left. Normally he's on the right. But <coughs> excuse me. But with, the, you know, him being on the left, he's able to play crosses in. And he played in a couple good ones, including the game-winning assist. So, uh, yeah, again, a struggle for much of the match. But, uh they pull it out. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, well, I think something that, you know, talking about maybe the lack of midfield play, well, there was a change slightly in the that second half when Emerson Hyman kind of moved to the right side. Marcelino Moreno moved a little bit more central. Mm -hmm. And some quick one-touch play and, uh, yeah, offside, but – that's that type of play that we need to see, yeah? Yeah, exactly. And Emerson Hyman being on the end of that, uh, putting the ball on the back of the net, um, you know, because that's I think we want to see more of that from him specifically. And so maybe that is uh, a role to try him out in, you know, on the right side of the three. Uh, maybe that allows him to get in the box more um, and, you know, just like contribute with those, uh, be, basically be an extra forward, you know, get those uh, goals and assists and be able to contribute to that one-touch play. I think Moreno... I don't know. I think he's a more natural fit in the middle. You know, I would like to see him up the tempo a little bit, um, you know, do sort of uh, kind of what Miggy used to do. Obviously, we're not asking him to be Almiron, but certainly pick up the ball, drive the ball forward, you know, uh, pass through the lines. And I, yeah, that's just I think that's what the team is missing right now. It's just that penetrative uh, midfield play to then, uh, you know, maybe find the through ball uh, for, you know, Joseph on the through ball or maybe a through ball out to the wings, you know. But I think as long as teams cut that off, Atlanta United will struggle. So I think that's probably the key to figure out uh, how uh, how to get this team clicking because, you know, it almost felt like, it almost feels like a little bit the, the builder play has sort of regressed from day one. You know, day one it looked really promising. And then since then, I think teams have figured some, some things out. And so it almost feels like we're uh, rebuilding in that regard as well. So, uh, you know, and it has to be said too, we're missing playmakers, especially Barco. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see uh, how this lineup looks uh, once Barco returns. But um, I'm happy for Moreno for him to get the game-winning goal. You know, it's a very good header. It's a, he put it the only place the keeper couldn't reach and I gotta be honest uh, from our vantage point I couldn't see the ball go back in the back of the net but the way the crowd reacted you knew you know so uh, just a oh, glorious feeling glorious feeling to get that right at the end yeah. appreciate it man thank you